Hello everyone, welcome to Auricular Medicine, brought to you by LAMP Aquavalence Foundation, Inc. Topics, points of helix and cruise of helix, points of antitragus and intertragic notch area. The nine points of the helix and cruise of helix represent assorted points and the points of the lower portion of the body. Point 56 is the diaphragm point, located near the lateral edge of the cruise of helix. The diaphragm is a powerful point that triggers movement of the diaphragm, thus assisting in deep breathing. In traditional Chinese medicine, the diaphragm is the place where blood meets, then directed to its proper pathways. Therefore, this point is very effective in qi and blood stagnation. The diaphragm point is used for diseases caused by bleeding due to evil heat in the blood. When the diaphragm moves, liver qi is regulated and spread. The distribution of qi and upper blood in the upper jaw is facilitated. The diaphragm point has an effect upon emotions by virtue of moving liver qi stagnation. It treats depression viewed as liver qi stagnation, regularizes emotions. The diaphragm point helps the upper jaw and the middle jaw communicate, dispels chest and mid-back tightness. It treats nervous tension, hiccups, pressure from the stomach or liver that follows surgery. Treats jaundice. The diaphragm has mixed sympathetic parasympathetic innervations. Needle the diaphragm point first in a treatment because it affects reactive ability of the rest of the auricle. It can make unreactive ear reactive or a hypersensitive ear normal because it promotes homeostatic control. Diaphragm point is also known as point zero. It was called point zero by Noget or master point by Olson. Point 57 is lower portion of the rectum located on the helix, roughly parallel to the large intestine point. The lower portion of the rectum point is good for fecal stagnation, constipation, impacted stools, hemorrhoids, diverticulitis, diverticulosis of the lower rectum. Point 58 is the hemorrhoids point border of the helix parallel to the uterus prostate point. This is point number seven. The hemorrhoids point is good for hemorrhoids due to stagnant blood, damp heat accumulation, or prolapsed qi. Good for itchiness, inflammation, local bleeding, anal fissures. Point 59 is the common cold point, border of the helix, parallel to hypertension point. The common cold point helps prevent common cold or treat a developed cold. Wind cold, wind heat, or wind dampness that cause common cold manifestations. Point 60, the ear apex point. Apex of the helix of the ear, found by gently folding the helix, sometimes called R jian. The ear apex point is an important point to bring down the yang and reduce heat. In yang rising, the ear apex reduces high blood pressure and can quell anger and other heat manifestations. With bleeding technique, this is clinically effective for acute conjunctivitis, migraines, other symptoms of liver yang rising, herpes zoster, pharyngitis, high fever, aphonia. Some practitioners locate the allergy point on the underside of the ear apex. Point 61 to 64 are helices 1 to 4, found by dividing the helix horizontally into six equal parts. Helices 5 and 6 have already been numbered as point 17 and point 19 respectively, discussed under low points. The first point is on the helix, parallel to tubercle of helix, Sixth point is found in sector 8 of the lobe. All of the others are found in between those divisions at equal intervals. 
Because these pertain to tonsillar tissue, they can enhance immunity and ward off infection or invasion, like in acute tonsillitis. 11 points of the antitragus and intertragic notch area are the points of the head and brain regions. Point 65, Ding Chuan, the height of the antitragus, not on the anterior surface, but exactly on top of the antitragus. Ding Chuan is analogous to the body point Ding Chuan on the back of the neck, located 0.5 soon lateral to GV14, that way, another very powerful point to assist in stop wheezing. This point is excellent for bronchitis, asthma, other breathing difficulties. This is called the ear asthma point. Works well with stop wheezing point located in triangular fossa. Point 66 is brain point, the subcortex, posterior wall of the antitragus, the second point located on the posterior aspect of an ear part. The brain or subcortex regulates excitation and inhibition of cerebral cortex for diseases of the nervous, digestive, endocrine, urogenital systems, hemorrhage, insomnia, inflammation pain, swelling, shock, prolapse, excessive sweating can be treated. This is the second most important point in the ear, with the Shen Man being the first. Use the brain point to augment almost every treatment because brain controls every bodily activity. This corresponds to pituitary gland and thalamus. Some sources call the brain point the subcortex. Point 67 to 69 are the occiput, temple, and forehead points, inferior to the antitragus, run parallel to it on a curve. Most lateral is occiput, temple is in middle, the forehead most medial. Point 67, the occiput point, is good for occipital headache, dizziness, neck tension, stiffness along the nape, blood stasis in the occipital area. Because the visual cortex is located in the occiput, this is used to treat eye disorders. For neuropsychiatric disorders, psychosis, pain, shock, inflammation, convulsions, lockjaw, and it regulates the nervous system. The occiput point relieves motion sickness. Point 68 is the temple point, local point for breakouts, tension, temporal headaches, one-sided headaches, migraines. The temple point is called the Taiyang point because the body acupuncture point Taiyang is located at the temple. Point 69 is forehead point, very good for wrinkles, acne, pain, and congestion of sinuses and or the forehead. The forehead point treats Yang Ming headaches, which include the large intestine and the stomach channels. Point 70 is brain stem, just above antitragus area, intersection of the medial border of the spleen point with the curvature above the antitragus. The brain stem is good for disorders, of cerebral blood vessels and meninges, incomplete development of the brain, apoplexy, convulsions, stiffness along the nape, sequel to cerebral shock, respiration. Point 71 is I1, on the medial side of intertragic notch. Point 72 is I2, on the lateral side of intertragic notch. 71, 72, I1 and I2 are supplemental clinically effective points used in glaucoma and myopia. Used with I point on the lobe as the primary point in the formula, 
Supplement with the liver, heart, spleen, stomach, shenman, occiput, ear points. Spleen and stomach process nutrients for the body that create blood. Necessary for eye health and sight. Point 73, the raised blood pressure point. Below the intertragic notch between I1 and I2. The raised blood pressure point is useful in emergency situations in which blood pressure needs to be raised. Point 74, the ovaries or testis point. Slightly superior to I2, some locate ovary point on the lower medial interior portion of antitragus. The ovaries testis point, good for irregular menstruation, infertility. Point 75, endocrine point, medial side of intertragic notch, superior to I1, on the posterior wall of the middle border of intertragic notch, the third and final point not on the anterior surface of the ear. The endocrine point is also known as the internal secretion point, regulates all endocrine secretions and hormonal problems. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in our next videos.